three little pigs. Do you, do you, look, look, there they are. Do you know the three little pigs? Have you ever heard that story? Yes, yeah. I have it in a book at my house. That's right. It's a story in a long book. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the three little pigs, a lot of people don't know this, but the three little pigs had names. This is Henry, this is Harry, and this is Albert. And their mom said, after they went to college and learned how to be uh, grown-ups and how to have jobs, uh, their mom said to them that you need to go out and seek your fortune, and you need to go get a job, and you need to have a house. So they decided to build their houses after they got out in the world as grown-ups. So Henry, Henry was a little bit lazy. So he built a straw house because that was really easy to make, right? And Harry built a house made of wood because Harry thought it looked really, really pretty and he wanted all the other pigs to be a little bit jealous of him because he liked, he wanted to be very special. So he built his of wood. And Albert, there's a fail. Hi, Albert. <laughs> Albert built his a brick because he was a very practical pig. And he decided that he would make a house that would be able, if there was a big storm or anything bad happened, his house would be okay. So he made a house out of brick. So the three pigs were living in their houses, and they were very happy. But then one day, The wolf showed up, and the wolf wanted to eat those pigs. <laughs> so the wolf went first to Henry's house, and the wolf went, little pig, little pig, let me in. And what did the pig say? Do you remember? No. Because it's not, not by, by the, the hair, hair of my chinny chin chin. chin. And he said, I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow the house down. And he did, he went And then little Henry had to run out of the house because the whole house got blown down. And he went over to his brother's house, to Harry's house. So they, <laughs> so they were safe in Harry's house. So the wolf went home, he was very disgusted. He's, you know, wolves have to eat, right? So he was pretty sad. But he thought, I'll get those pigs the next day. So he went over to Harry's house. And he said, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. And what did the pig say? Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. He said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And they had to run because he did blow their house down because the wood house wasn't very strong either. <laughs> so now all three little pigs are living at Albert's house. It's a little crowded. <laughs> <laughs> so the wolf went home and then he went back the next day. And he was pretty sure after blowing down two houses that he's going to blow this house down, right? Yeah, but he can't. You can't? Because it's too strong, and it's gonna, and he's gonna come down from the chimney. Oh, you think? Yeah, and what he's gonna land is something hard. <laughs> <laughs> so the wolf didn't know the story. So the wolf went, I'm gonna huff and I'm gonna puff and I'm gonna blow this house down. And he went, okay. and he didn't blow down. You were right. So you too. you too. I said that. Yeah. So then he tried again. I'm gonna huff and I'm gonna puff and I'm gonna blow your house down. And he couldn't. He was all out of breath. He didn't know what to do. So the little pigs were safe for the time being, right? So then he went home and he thought about it. How am I gonna get in? How am I gonna get in? So the next day he went back and he said, little 
little pigs, little pigs, let me in. I'm the UPS man. <gasps> and they're like, the UPS man? And he said, it's a pack. He goes, I have a package for you. And they're like, a package? Maybe it's a present. And Henry wanted to open the door. But, and Harry thought maybe we should open the door. But Albert said, no, 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 no. So they say, that's right. So they did not open the door, and the wolf was very disappointed, and he went home. So then he thought, I'll try again tomorrow. So he went up to the house this time, and he said, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. I have a candy gram for you. A candy gram? What do pigs like to do? What's their favorite thing? Mud. Mud? <laughs> but what else? They love to eat. Right? <laughs> little piggies love to eat. So they got all excited, the little piggies. And they were like, oh, there's candy out there. But then they, they said, wait a minute. How do we know it's candy? How do we know it's not the wolf? And they looked through the peephole, and they saw it was the wolf. So the wolf realized, oh, oh, he's so disappointed. So he went back home, trying to say, I'm going to go back one more time. He goes, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. And they were like, what did they say? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So he thought, I'm not going to try to talk my way in. I'm going to go into the chimney. And then they won't know that I'm sneaking in. So then he goes into the chimney, and the pigs hear him coming. And what do they do? Some of you guys know this already. Yeah, but wait, he got fire on his stuff. Right, because well, they put a fire in the chimney, right? In, yeah. the, in, the, in the fireplace. And they put a big kettle of water. Big kettle of water. Mm -hmm. So when the when the when he went in there, when the wolf went in there, what happened? Got he got birds. All the little pigs ran out. Okay, all the little pigs ran out. He goes in. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the end of the wolf. <laughs> and then the little pigs went back into Albert's house. <laughs> and they live there happily ever after. <laughs> okay, that was it. That was my story for today. Did you guys like it? Yeah.